Hey guys, Jason here. Today we're going to be talking about why a straight grip on my hill style bows. Why are so many hill style bows shot with a straight grip? What's the advantage to that? Why do people do it? Or you'll see them with a very slightly dished grip. Um, you even see them with a locator, but what is it about a straight grip that I love so much that has so much power for me um, and why I always shoot a straight grip on my hill style bows. Now with a recurve bow, um, or a reflex deflex bow, you have all these different working directions in the limb okay, that are doing different things for you at different speeds. And they all are basically driving the, the limb forward, but they're doing it in different configurations. Um, and they, those bows can also be much shorter in size because of the fact that they, they have that reflex deflex in them. And therefore, you can get away with shooting it much more vertical or shooting it one more continuous way. Where with a hill style bow, you you need to, because of the length, be able to cant that bow, twist that bow, turn that bow. And there's an advantage to a straight grip for that. And that straight grip is the fact that it allows me to get my hand all the way up to the top of this. Okay, um, What I mean by that is, so if you guys are in my Patreon channel, you see over the top of my view, over my head when I shoot at animals all the time. So you see this, and many people question it. Sorry, the gnats are bugging me. But you see this happen a lot. So when I draw... And then especially when I put pressure on it, you will notice, so when I draw this, watch where this arrow is in relationship to my hand. So let's do it here somewhere where I'm going to be able to be safe and do this. So uh, let's see when we put pressure on this. Ready? Watch the relationship of how that arrow sits on my hand. Okay, look at the way that arrow is in my hand. See on my hand, on my bow hand here? Look at where it's sitting. The, bow, the arrow is actually in my bow hand as you see it. What that does is that creates a pivot point for me for that arrow. Since the arrow is right here on my hand, when I bend it or when I roll this hand, my arm, the, the arrow becomes the pivot point. Okay? So it doesn't matter if I shoot vertical, it doesn't matter if I shoot canted, it doesn't matter if I shoot horizontal because everything is pivoting around this particular point. Now, had that been on a rest or up here, when I turn my hand, look at how the arrow gets all the way out there because it's moving with the bow. Okay, my pivot point is here at my hand, but you can see how far out the arrow goes versus the arrow being right here on my hand. When I spin, it just stays right there. It's not moving any. That is an advantage to me from the fact of having that hand position be choked right up to that. Now there's a lot of people that'll say too, well that's a problem, like if I grip this now, you can see that that arrow is actually more riding on my hand, and you're right, it does, and that can prevent that arrow from bouncing off that shelf like it's supposed to. I, I don't care, the arrows are still going where I want to, but I want that hand on there. But as you look at that, you almost the arrow doesn't almost even touch the shelf. Okay, it's almost it's sitting on the shelf, but on my hand, right here at the front knuckle and right back here. But it's right there. I am choked up as close as I possibly can be to that. Um, so I like that advantage. And a straight grip allows me to do that without any interference to get all the way up into there where I want to. I don't have to get under nothing. I don't have to fight nothing. And I like that. And it also allows me to choke up and get in there. But see, when you shoot a hill style bow, or me personally, when I shoot a hill style bow. I want that pressure line right here. Okay, this is where I want that pressure. It's not a right here where the thumb, the base of the thumb meets that hand. That is where I want that pressure line going down to. I don't care about down here. I don't heal a bow. I want it right here, right there, dug right into there is where I want that pressure at. So when I curl around it, I get it there. And that grip allows me to choke up high and have that without having to drop my wrist down too low to do it. So for me, it's that perfect right there, right in that palm, right at the, it follows that baseline of my thumb right down and lets me get that sealed in there. Um, so for me, I really like a straight grip. It gives me that advantage to it and it allows me to take those shots this way, this way, this way, whatever I want, but it's always the same because it pivots right around that arrow. So it's a simple yet very powerful thing and it also allows me to grip it any way I want to. So when I grab, now when I'm control and I'm sitting here and I'm about to sneak in on an animal, when I throw that on there, I know where that grip is. I know exactly where I want to sit and where I want my hand to feel. Okay, my thumb on the backside feels that ledge 
of the grip right here and it tells me exactly where I need to be where I, when I grab that so that I know that my hand is exactly where I want my hand to be. But had I grabbed this bow off of a bow hanger for example and I grabbed it here, what is that going to do for me? Could I still shoot it that way? Yeah, no difference whatsoever. It makes no difference really to shoot it that way um, because of the fact that, the, you know, this whole riser doesn't flex. It's not messing anything up there with where I'm holding it, but I don't, it, it just, it, it still shoots that way. I can grab it anywhere I want and still shoot this bow the same way. Um, I prefer to be here, but I don't have to pull it off the hook and then do this and try to get that exact position or grab it and go, you know, grab my bow and then grab my bow here and then go like this and get that feel and dig into that. I don't have to do any of that. Grab the bow. And usually when I grab it, I just take my thumb and I come in. My thumb touches that back of that rubber right there and it tells me where I got to be and boom, I'm wrapped onto it and I'm ready to go. So for me, it's a non-visual. I don't have to look at it or think about it. It is just to grab the bow and I am there and I am set and ready and I can shoot. So that straight grip is a beautiful thing. It puts the pressure here. Let me pull this off, but it puts that pressure that I need it to right here on the center of that bow. Right, right here is my pressure zone of this bow. Okay, it's not up high like this. It's down here. It runs right down this line of the spine, or the right along the base of that, right in there. And it is that grip that is what matters to me for my best shooting. That's what's important to me, my best shooting. Now, don't get me wrong, a locator grip is great, but a locator will then apply that pressure more inward this way than it does. A slight dish grip will give you more heel on the bow, and that works. Like I said, there's no right or wrong way to shoot these, but you want that planted on a hill style bow. You want that energy transferred into that, from that bow into your hand, straight up that line. They are not meant to be shot like a recurve. Okay, like this with a high wrist or anything like that. That's not how they work. Your, your arms will rattle if you do that. Okay, you got to get that down and get that control in there. And that's how that works best for me is to run right down that line. And a straight grip allows me to have that advantage. And it lets me choke up right on top of there. And again, some people will give me crap for my hand being that high up there. They'll think I should be more like this right here. And then that way, there's no chance of my hand getting in the way of that arrow because I'm down here. As you can see, you know, I'm not going to interfere with the arrow flight of that. I don't care. I want my hand choked right up in there. I want to be, I want that arrow there. Not only does it keep it from coming off, okay, doesn't fall off, can't get away from me, but it gives me, I feel every part of that shot. I feel every bit of that, that arrow as I draw it. I feel everything with that. Might it affect my arrow and keep it from kicking a little bit? Yeah, but I don't care because they, like I said, they fly perfect and they hit what I want. So I have no fears, but I love that being so intimately involved with that bow and that arrow and feeling every part of that, knowing just everything about it matters to me. And that straight grip on a hill style bow, 100% gives me exactly what I'm looking for on that too. You see all these gnats starting to come out? It's getting pretty crazy here right now. Um, but that's the reason I do it. And that's uh, why I like a straight grip bow. Hopefully a little tip helps you out. Thanks for watching.